faithful, joyful and triumphant. In the blue book, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Some of the musicians today, I once declare that they were deaf. If they're not, they will be. Yeah, yeah. Just wait till they reach our age. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Great song. Five five. Joe says nobody else will be. Number fifty five. <laughs> Bless the Lord, O my soul. Amen. <laughs>
Where's the Christmas song? Then? Round 250. Oh, in the twos. Okay. Okay. Sandra? Go, Joe. You Sandra. have that. I'm not ready yet. Oh, here's one. 251. 251. Is that all right? Yes. Yeah. There we go. It came upon the midnight clear. Oh,
PVC, they sell a microphone. Oops. <laughs> I think I just heard a silent button. <laughs> Go ahead. I was going to say, they sell a microphone that makes anyone sound like they can sing. Yeah. It distorts your voice. I was going to get one. <laughs> I, watched, <laughs> I watched a hilarious video the other day. I will show it to you after church. It was of a, I think it was like a golden retriever. He was inside a house. And he was over at a sliding glass door. And in the other room, I guess it's the living room, there was a big screen television. And they had Pavarotti oh. singing, you know, one of his famous... Uh, Nessun Dormi or whatever it is, I, I don't care about the names of it. But he's singing the song Pavarotti's and he's cut loose these things. And that dog, he comes running into the other room and he sits down there and he sits back on his haunches and he goes to sing along with Pavarotti. Oh, it was hilarious. It's like, and I sent this text to my friend I said, that's me trying to sound like Pavarotti. <laughs> you know, that dog thinks that anybody can sound like Pavarotti. You just throw your head back at you. It was, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. You have to watch it. But, um, yeah, you really appreciate people that have been given beautiful voices oh, yeah. to sing with. Oh, yeah. yeah, Corey said uh, that new dog, dog I got, said Thanksgiving Day when the, they had that, that dog, dog show. show. It sat there and watched a whole hour of never moved. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. 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 She had a picture where he just sat there just oh. watching all that. <laughs> they don't do a national <laughs> cat show. <laughs> <laughs> See what it would do in a cat yeah, show. Completed. How about that? Well, it's it's amazing because I've watched some of those videos where the animals get very emotionally involved in what's going on on the screen, yeah. and they'll want to attack. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That little squirrel dog I used to have, Molly. Uh -huh. I had this one video of uh, squirrel hunting, and she would sit and watch that that show. <laughs> and, and then somewhere around that period, I, they said something about dogs can't see television screen. Not so. Well, you ought to come to my house and watch my dog watch squirrel videos. <laughs> exactly right. Actually. Yeah. Have yeah. you seen that? Exactly yeah. right. It's pink. The colors are a little different. They say dogs see a little different. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's in dogs a month. I'm like, no. You get the free trial. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 you get the month. dog shows, actually, to pay them on for. Mm -hmm. Is that crazy? It's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. dollars on dog TV. It's <laughs> doggy TV. And it's at dog eye level. Every time you see your legs and feet. It's funny. Yeah, they like it. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin likes it, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, um, prayer request. I forgot to mention this morning. We've been praying this week for Garland Freeman's mom. And, uh, Garland did send me a text message after the service, said his mom had a rough night. She um, hadn't been feeling well for some time, Joe, and um, she finally went to the doctor, and they said that she had pneumonia, no COVID, but pneumonia and a clot in her lung, and then they came back and they said that, yeah, it was COVID. So they put her in um, the intensive care unit. Now, she was eating and things like that and was able to talk. I don't know how they got a phone into her, whether it was somebody with a cell phone or whatnot. But he had texted me on Saturday morning and said that she was doing much better. They had actually lowered her oxygen need from 15 units down to 7 units. But he texted after the service this morning and said that she had had a rough night and her pulse had actually gone down to 50. So we need to continue to pray for her. Um, her name is, I know the last name is Garen. Let me look it up right quick here, right? Just a second. Um, Vicky Garen, G A R A N. Vicky, V I C K I E. So, and I was going to see if there were any other ones that needed to be updated. Any that you're aware of, of course, we'll pray for Mark Hunter's family. Tragic. But so thankful they gave his heart to the Lord. Yep. That was an answer to prayer we prayed for. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Um, I put a friend of mine on there. His name is Bob Webster. Okay. This is McKinleyville. And last Sunday, apparently he was uh, on his roof trying to clean his uh, gutters. And 
fell off. Oh. And, uh, and they had to take him to Pittsburgh and they had to do surgery on his shoulder and uh, broke his arm and had a concussion, uh, did something else to his ankle or something. And, uh, he's 76 years, 74 years old. And uh, up there on that roof climbing around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like Kevin. Took a head dive on the back. This takes a split second. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any others? Just my unspoken. Unspoken. Let's pray. Father, it is good to be here tonight, and we do take this time to, to pray, to ask for your blessings. We are very thankful for what you've done for us. And again, Father, we thank you for the privilege of not only prayer, but thankful for the freedom in this country, thankful for this place that we can meet in. Thankful, Father, for the way that you've protected us, because it could very well be our names on this prayer list tonight. And our hearts do go out for these, but we thank you for what you've done. We pray that our lives will not always reflect our gratitude, our deep gratitude, especially at this time of year, for the gift of your Son. Because your Son, Jesus Christ, gives us all the hope that we need. Uh, life is tough enough, but Father, to know that we have hope through Jesus, that he came, took away our sin, he rose from the dead. He's promised us eternal life. Father, that gives us something to look forward to. So we just thank you so much for your Son. Thankful for your Spirit, too, your Spirit who accompanies us. So we go through life to teach us and to remind us of those things that we need to be reminded of. Thank you for all that you do. We thank you for your great love, your patience with us. We thank you, Father, for your mercy. And we just pray, Father, that you'll continue your blessings. Minister to these that we've talked about. We've got a long list. I do pray for Garland's mom. We've been praying for her this week because she's been kind of under the weather and just kind of downplayed it. And we just pray that she's going to be okay. Help her to get the rest tonight. Pray that she can get home. Soon, please restore her. I do pray for my younger brother that he's going to be okay. Thankful that he was feeling better today. We pray for those that do have COVID. There's a lot of them. We ask you, Lord, to meet their needs. Chuck and Bessie had mentioned their son David this morning because he really injured his feet with that ladder. We pray that you'll help to take away the pain and help him not to have additional problems. We pray for Mark Hunter's family, Lord, that you will comfort them. And trust, Lord, that you might um, help them at this time. To be able to hold on to your promises, it's going to be a different Christmas for them. But we just pray, Father, that you will encourage their hearts to keep looking up. We, again, are so thankful for what you do and for the promises that you've made. We pray for this Mr. Webster that fell off the roof. We pray that he could get healed up. Please, Father, touch him and um, help his body to mend. We pray, Father, too, that you will be with unspoken needs. There are those here within our church that have things that they're struggling with, and they need your help. And we just ask you, Lord, please hear their request. Meet those needs. Again, Lord, there's just a lot of different needs, and we pray that you might meet them. I know Joe Earp prayed earlier for revival in, in your, your churches, Father. It's, it's heartbreaking to see that we are just not meeting together as we should because we need to call out to you. Our, our, not only our country, but our world is in a desperate situation. We need to get, start getting some things turned around and straightened out. And so we ask you, Father, to please help us. We pray for those that are lost, that they will get saved before it's too late. Lord, speak to their hearts. Help them to recognize their need for you and help us to be bold in speaking up. But Father, we present these requests to you tonight. And thank you that you hear them and thank you for what you're going to do. Please continue to help us to keep looking up. Give our leaders wisdom. Help them to make decisions that are going to honor you. Be with our military and law enforcement. Please protect them. And Father, help this whole... COVID thing to, to be done away with so that we could get back to enjoying life again. Thank you again for being our God. Bless now the remainder of our time. Together, use it for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm going to make a couple of announcements first on Tuesday.